Hey, welcome back to Life is Strange Remastered. I have no clever way to start this uh, episode. So let's just uh, get right into it. And meet another new character. We've heard about her. Now we get to meet And there she is. Lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man. No matter what Chloe says. Technically, that's not how I met him. Uh, Joyce here, voiced by Sissy Jones, who also voices the uh, homeless woman behind the diner. The homeless woman that Joyce feeds. So, Joyce feeds herself. Cute. Uh, Anyway, uh, yeah. Yeah, that wasn't how I met him. Uh, technically, I met him when he uh, accused me of doing something when I was coming out of the women's restroom. I met him when I was coming out of the women's bathroom, and he asked me if I was doing something bad. And then I met him a little bit later, again, when he was uh, harassing one of my friends. So, yeah, I had two encounters. I met him twice before uh, met meeting him in... Chloe's room. None of the meetings have been impre uh, have impressed me. He's yelled at me every single time I've talked to him. Which is uh, great. Just, you know, absolutely wonderful. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. I will be. Promise. I know things we'll were see. hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe... Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe must have changed a lot during that time. Oh, she hid all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? Should I admit that he scared me? Because he kind of did. I did. And I am sorry. I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Or me. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does Maybe. care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. Yeah, he's a funny way of showing it. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I'll stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty-gritty. What do you want to eat? Tough choice. Bacon omelette or Belgian waffle? 
The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. One Belgian waffle for the hungry. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Nothing particularly interesting here. Starfish pancakes. Interesting. Bigfoot bacon omelet. Gold potato, gold potato omelet. Morning glory waffle. Best and famous breakfast menu. Bigfoot bacon. Arcadia Bay roast. Free refills with breakfast. Ask about our daily specials. Girl, pronto. One Belgian waffle at 12 o'clock high. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. Nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. X plus Y equals Z. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. Stick with the bacon. Oh yes, black coffee. You will be mine. I just want to see if I can come over here. Can I get some beer and bacon before I die? This is a diner, not a bar. No beer? <laughs> Looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. No beer? What, what kind of dive is this? Incoming. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. I can hear your stomach but then it wouldn't be a moment. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ah. Oh. Mm, speak of the devil. Mom and Max, together again. And Dynamic Chloe duo. looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh god, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl. A woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. Nah. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. Ooh. Rough. One slice of bacon? Damn. Mom being... Mom bringing down the punishment. Dang. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town. Oh, what is this on. shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation. And I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. 
Describe my keychain. Not sure what the song is. A uh, skull keychain for a punk like you. That was so wrong, Max. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Panda keychain. Handful of cigarettes. That's 25, 75, 80. One, two, three, four. Eighty-six cents. Woo! Big money. Uh, parking ticket. From, uh... I think it's actually supposed to be... I think... So I think the pick park park ticket is actually supposed to be... Might... Supposed to be from today? Maybe? No, it says September 21st. Yeah, parking ticket from back in September, so old parking ticket. You got this, Max. Now rewind and blow Chloe's mind. So this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max, I'm hella ready. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Panda? A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? 86 cents. Yep. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. <laughs> so that was cool. Show me more. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? 10.34 a.m. Booyah, Max can tell time. Balls. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. I have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. I was impressing her with my magic powers. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Oops. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That's the best song I've this heard is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? Whee! I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. 
So what happens next? Alert on cops radio. And his the cop gets leaves. an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor fight. And Justin Joyce and stops. Trevor are fighting and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. Jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls The jukebox on it. goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, way really? to go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where's my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy! The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. <laughs> Maybe you made a move on Flirty. me and I would never know. Flirty. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. <laughs> you did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Yeah. Side note. Um... The, uh, I forgot to mention this, the robot, or the panda keychain is a reference to Jax from, uh, a diff from another Don't Nod game, Remember Me. So, yeah. Also, I don't have time while talking about time powers. Chloe was late, duh, so I was happy to be distracted by seeing Joyce again. The diner is like a museum piece, except with customers. Better still, the food hasn't changed at all. Joyce seemed really glad to see me again, and she didn't give me a guilt trip for not staying in touch. After William died, she wanted to move forward with a new wife and husband. Chloe doesn't want to accept that. Joyce naturally gave me shit for corrupting Chloe with my devil weed, though I'm not sure she even believed it was mine. What could I say? I can see she actually loves David, even if I don't see how. The breakfast was so worth the grief, though. Talking to Joyce Price after five years is almost as intense as seeing Chloe again, especially right back in ye old Two Wells Diner. That clinking of silverware and the smell of sizzling bacon rewound me back to being a kid, hanging out there with my parents for breakfast. I remember her always smiling at Chloe, even in mischief. Though she smiles at her hijinks now, but they still banter with mother and daughter. I moved to Seattle so soon after William died that I never saw how it affected Joyce. I'm glad she's not pissed at me for being selfish and never looking back. I still remember the last time Chloe and I saw him alive. I wonder how often Joyce remembers that day. That's the worst kind of reward, one you can't control. But if I could go back to that moment, what would I do? I can only imagine how Joyce ended up with David Madsen. Talk about opposites. You can tell she loves him, disturbing as that sounds. Maybe she just wanted a more structured life with him. Obviously, it didn't work out that way with Chloe. I hope they both treat her right. Joyce deserves the best. Okay, Supergirl, let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and people to do. Come on, before mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. 
You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. Big choice. Chloe is being kind of bratty here. Like, this is a moment that a lot of people dislike uh, about Chloe. She is being very bratty. That said, she I have I don't think I've told her, you know, that Kate is going through some incredibly heavy shit right now. Like, obviously, I'm going to take the call. Kate absolutely needs me to take the call. She is not in a good headspace to be blown off right now. Um, and I mean, like, I'm pretty sure if I told Chloe, look, Kate is going through really heavy shit. She is deep depression. I am legitimately worried for her. Yep. Yeah. She would probably understand. Chloe would probably understand. So, yeah. I'm answering. Sorry, Chloe. Hey, Kate. What's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. <sighs> Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. Yeah, I can't talk to Joyce. Dude is watching us. That's not good. I mean, I assume it's probably not good. Is this a race? Keep up. How many times are you going to get pissed at me this week? That depends on you and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back, and she's also super-sized? We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. Fair. Although that nosebleed was concerning. Nosebleeds are not fun. Are you kidding? After yesterday, I'm kind of over guns, Chloe. <sighs> Freaks me out that you have one. Don't you trust me? No. Yes, but not that gun. You have more power than an army. Don't be scared of my little toy. Besides, we need it for the test. Drink? Yuck. You are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <sighs> nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. Fine, fine, fine. If you're gonna be like this. <laughs> That's my Chloe. I have to find dirty ass bottles while you chill? Not fair. I have to prep the range, crybaby? And I've been tripping hard about where you got this rewind power. From God? Or the gods. So, bow. <laughs> we can make the world bow. Are you ready for that? Oh, yes. Once I figure out exactly how my power works. A god must doth know these things. 
Amen. And while you build an empire, I'm there to keep you on the path of badassness. And fun. Spin, rinse, and repeat. I'm just altering time and space. Oh yeah, and history. <laughs> no biggie. You already altered history by saving my life, smartass. Let's see what else you can do. All right. It's hard to believe that was once on the road, filled with dozens of students. So the bus, one, four, two. Uh, Christopher McCandless. Uh, Break time. He was a real person. Uh, there's a uh, movie based on him, Into the Wild. Uh, he sort of fled society and uh, he lived and died in a uh, Fairbanks City Transit System uh, bus, which was 142. gets the pixelated uh, achievement. Alright, so now for what is generally considered one of the worst parts of this entire game. Hunting for bottles. No way! I totally remember going there when I was a kid. I loved the Hush Puppies. Now the sign is just Arcadia Bay junk. Yeah. The truth is, it's just kind of badly designed. Look what we have here. A cute little bottle for the taking. Bottle. Yep. Maybe I can use this to reach the bottle. Maybe I can use this to reach the bottle. One down. Hello, bottle number one. Four more to go. So sad to look at a grounded boat. I wonder who owned that and where they are now. Seem to be a name on this particular boat. Old camera. Beyond repair. Rest in peace. I know there's a every car has its own tale and history. Yeah, Max was about to say something about a bonfire, it looks like. They did change things around a little bit. Uh, that bottle, I think, is a new one. That bottle was not in the original game. In the original, there were just five bottles in specific locations that could be really awkward to find. So I'm going to ignore that particular one. Oh, 
creepy. Oh, poor thing. They left you here all alone. I'm gonna try to find every look at everything I can around here. I well. wonder how many generations of fashion went through that washing machine. I'm sure this is a popular party pit. Oh yes, we can use this one for a target. Boom, only three bottles left. Oops. Coming this fall, Max Caulfield, Bottle Hunter. Three down, two more to go. Talk about finding a bottle in a haystack. I believe there is something around here as well. Wow, sir. That looks exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. That dough is the perfect photo op. She's staring at me as if we have a connection. All right, so here's something interesting here. Yes, that is a spirit dough. That gets you the dynamic range uh, photo op. But, oh, achievement. but here's the interesting thing. Rewinding. You may notice the dough doesn't uh, come back. It's mystical. The dough itself is mystical. Um... So, sit. So yeah, it's uh, rewinding doesn't actually bring the dough back, even though normally, you know, it's so quiet yeah. and primordial out here. I always feel like the forest is whispering to me, like Arcadia Bay is trying to tell me something. I just have to figure out the message. Nice music here. This is lovely music. Game's got a really good soundtrack in general. I do like that, you know, these sort of quieter ones that it gives you. It's just nice and chill, you know?
Where there's a boat, there's a pirate, which means booze bottles. Yeah, the little bit uh, where I almost got ran over by, or almost got crushed by stuff with the uh, train passing by. Yeah, that's, that's a kind of cool moment. Gotta dig it. Eat shit and live. Thanks for the tip. lot of trains passing by around here right now. Or is this because I rewound? No, it shouldn't be. La La Land this way. Oh, there you are, little bottle. Trying to play hide and seek. One more bottle to go. Ouch. Fuck you. What does it say? Ouch. I don't even know what it says. I can't even make out what it says. I want to die. Jeez. Who wrote this? A lot of people who might have. So Rachel did go to a Vortex Club party. This flyer is dated right before she disappeared. March 28th. Wait, how'd she know? Oh, this is how. Chloe was here, Rachel was here. I don't want to intrude, but I was here. <laughs> I was here. Now we're officially a trio. We just have to find Rachel. They would have gone all the way to Los Angeles for a rave. Looks fun. Yeah, some pretty cool, some interesting stuff to see in, in here. I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. Rachel songs. I wonder if Chloe would ever make me a mixtape. Aw, oh, she wants a mixtape. They really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. Aw, oh, look at the two of them. They look cute together. And sure. Besties, sure. Let's go with that. That kind of hurts. Friendship bracelets. All right, so yeah, the first four. Wow, Rachel beat Chloe's ass at the uh, dart pretty consistently. I bet I could get on the boat from a higher location. Yeah, so this bottle is actually why oh, I missed these earlier. Those shells look fresh. Oh, like you know. I'm pretty sure that's why they added this bottle here. How long has that been here? Because, yeah, uh, this genuinely stumped a lot of people. Um, yeah, there are a lot of people who just weren't sure 
Where again. there's a boat, there's a pirate, which means booze bottles. Yes, score. Yeah, this one stumped a lot of people. Uh, which is why they added a couple more uh, bottles that were easier to find. Oh, hey. Oh, gross. So disturbing to see old syringes on the ground. Indeed. Hmm. I could use this board as a bridge. Doesn't look too heavy. Rob, of course, is getting to it. But, not too hard. Just gotta look around a bit. So yeah, this, uh, this particular bottle just... Where there's a boat, there's a pirate. Which means booze bottles. Yes, yes. The Bigfoots were here. It's, yeah, it's just a lot of people found this one frustrating rather than fun. Hmm. Huh. I could use this board as a bridge. Doesn't look too heavy. Way heavier than I thought. Ugh. Yeah, let's have another set. That was hard work. Although this junkyard is a dive, I see why Chloe hangs here. She's the a steampunk. The lovely music again. It actually feels like Chloe and I are kids again. We're hiding out and plotting our future. Despite all the chaos and bullshit, I feel so giddy hanging out with her again. So happy. Like we've both gone back in time. Anyway, yeah. So a lot of people just did not like uh, the bottle search. It was probably yeah. I, Where not there's even... a boat, there's a pirate. Yes, which I'm means on the boat. Booze bottles. Voila! Now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe. On a side note, it's actually possible to get yourself kind of stuck up here. If you rewind while the, uh, before crossing back, the plank comes back over here. I think you actually can still make your way down. Uh, at the very least, I think they sort of, in this, in the remastered version at least, uh, I think they can, uh, I think they've sort of made it uh, so you can just sort of jump down. But, the original, I think it was actually possible to soft walk yourself up there. So much drama, and I haven't even finished my breakfast. Finally, Chloe showed up, more bubbly than I would have thought after almost getting killed in a bathroom yesterday. It makes me happy to see her smile. But that smile meant trouble, since all she really wanted was for me to show off my rewind power. So I did, and I have to admit, I felt like a total boss. Except I did start feeling weak and woozy the more I rewound. I even got a nosebleed, which kind of freaked me out. Chloe always wants more, so she demanded we go to her top secret fair. She still had to get pissed off at me because I dared to answer Kate's call. I'm not a fan of Chloe's petulance. She tried to make me feel like an ass, but screw that. 
Kate was so happy I answered, I actually felt worse for her. Chloe has to know I can have two friends at once. Speaking of which, Kate, uh, text me, right? So it worked, right? No worries about not going eight with me. Dude, the fact that you keep saying going eight, go eight, is a good reason why I don't want to do it, go with you. I thought it would be cool to take a road trip in the new wheels. I'll just drive in circles around town. I'm sorry, Warren. Hard week. I still owe you. Yes, you do. Let me know if you change your mind. That's supposed to be a wink. I guess it's a wink. Max. I want to thank you for giving me such great advice about going to the police and telling them everything about Nathan. I appreciate you standing by me. It keeps my faith. Kate, I'm on your side. Please don't mention me too much if you can. I'm already in trouble around here. And thanks so much for talking to me this morning. I was about to have a serious cry and I needed a friend. You were there, as usual. Anyway, yeah, like I was saying, uh, the bottle search, one of the most hated parts in this game. Uh, people just were not impressed with it. It's a little bit tedious. It can be hard finding all the bottles. Um, this last one in particular is kind of awkward uh, to get. And yeah, it was just a lot of people hated it, which is why they added a couple of, uh, couple extra ones that were just really easy to find a blind around. Like a couple of those uh, bottles are like a couple of the bottles that were in the original game were really just laying around. But there were a couple, the one on the boat, arguably the one in the shack. Um, yeah, there were a couple that were just awkward to find. Uh, like, tough to find. Um, so, yeah, they added some extras in the remaster, uh, here. Just to make it a little bit easier. <laughs> That's my Chloe. Thanks, Max. Wait, one more for the road? You're serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. Show me the way, Max. I need to see you shoot first. Hey, what could... Guess I have to go back far enough. Show me the way. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes sir. Yeah! Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. That was so fucking cool. Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. Now, Max, where do I aim? Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. Give me something to shoot, Max. Hello, what should I shoot? TV. I bet you want to blow apart those old computer monitors. Let's reboot them with a bullet. 
Old school. Lame. Give me something to shoot, Max. Oh, did she miss or did I she? I bet hit? you want to blow apart those old computer monitors. Let's reboot them with a bullet. No, she got that old one. Old school. Lame. Okay. So I'm supposed to just pick something else then. Give me something to shoot, Max. Let's see you take a crack at that rusty barrel. Sorry, Mr. Barrel, your time has come. Listen to those fat bullet beats! Wow. That was dangerous. Come on, Max. Rewind and help Chloe aim. Am I... Give me something to shoot, Max. Am I doing something wrong? Aim at that old blue plank here. I hate old planks. Yawn. Give me something to shoot, Max. Uh, that's the one I need Let's to Let's take hit. out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Hella yes! Well, that was cool. Nice shooting, Tex. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like, never? So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? Dude, I need a target before I shoot. All right. Well, Max? Put a real dent in that front bumper. Goodbye, cruel bumper. <laughs> Jesus, I sh shot myself! Ugh, I shot myself! Back up, back Stupid up! gun! Hold on, Chloe. Yep, you can get- you can trick her into shooting herself. Dude, I need a target before I shoot. Let's see what happens when you shoot the gas tank. Step back, gas tank go boom! Are definitely down, but no bottle casualties. Okay, but that was still cool. Feels good, but I didn't hit any of the bottles. Meaning, yeah. Yeah, you gotta make sure that each shot hits a bullet, hits a bottle. Dude, I need a target before I shoot. How about aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. That viewed it. Uber cool. No shots wasted. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero. Now it's your turn to bust a cap. Or not. I don't know. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! <laughs> Well, that wasn't great. Just when I thought shit couldn't get it, uh, crazier. Chloe took me to her secret lair. The city dump. Perfect for Halloween. Like where the vehicle and appliance ghosts of Arcadia Bay come to rot and rust. Urban dystopia porn. But instead of taking cool photos, Chloe had me do some silly, kind of fun tri trick, kind of fun gun tricks. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. 
Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe. <laughs> Look at her. Chloe can even chill out playing with a gun. Next photo. And the colorized achievement. This is the one that's supposed to be the spirit deer. Spirit, though. Shockingly, ghosts don't show up on camera. I should note, it's actually possible to lose the doubt. Um, if the train comes while you are following the doe before you can take that photo of it, then the doe runs off. And that's it. Yeah, there's Chloe over here. Uh, so two more photos. One science related, one looks to be a broken window. Dude at a window. Yeah, I can finish. We can finish up uh, the scene. Okay. Looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo. Max is afraid. I know you can handle this. And I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Wait, would I... Would I be Clyde in this situation, or would I be Bonnie? Anyway, yeah. New character. Just like me at your age. Frank! We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend, and it's none of your goddamn business. Frank here is voiced by Daniel Bonjour. You're my business now, That's and I- That's Rachel's bracelet! Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet?! Calm yourself, alright? It was a gift. No, it wasn't! You stole that shit! Give it to me right now, asshole! You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Please. Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Big choice here, yeah. Yeah, this is a big, big choice. Uh... Panic shoot! That is hilarious, oh man. I'll remember you, kid. I'll remember you almost shot me, and you'll wish I had no memory, because I never forget. You have until Friday to pay me. Don't ever pull crap like this again. It'll be the last time you do. 
Try bullets next time, brainiacs. Sorry. You are awesome. Thanks for standing up for me. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Jesus, I almost shot this guy. And now he'll be more dangerous to Chloe and me. Yeah, you can reset if you want. Wow, sir. Why did Frank have Rachel's bracelet? We need to talk about this later, but I better follow Chloe now. And, yes, our final, the final member of the cast. I'll never forget Frank, if only because he's the first and last person I will ever aim a gun at. How did Chloe end up in the sketchy drug dealer's orbit? The weird thing is that when I first saw him threatening Chloe in the junkyard, I was more shocked how uncreepy he looked. I expected some try-hard gangster, but he looked more like a dumpster-diving troll. Which I guess he kind of is, since we were on his turf, testing out my rewind skills for Chloe's amusement. Though he didn't look like a serial killer, his vibe, aura, energy, whatever, was bad. I could literally feel the hair on my arms prickling. He wanted the money Chloe owed him, so it didn't make sense he'd hurt her, but I wasn't going to take a chance. So yes, I actually threatened him with David's gun. Ridiculous. Fortunately, none of us ended up like reservoir dogs, and I saw that maybe Frank isn't as scary as I thought. But I don't want Chloe near him ever again, since he was wearing one of Aunt Rachel Amber's re bracelets for bloody WTF reasons. I doubt Chloe will be, able, uh, will be partying with me, but he's at the top of our suspect list now. Um. Before I end the episode, I didn't notice. But apparently, the uh, the big boat in the uh, junkyard. I didn't know. I didn't see the name anywhere. But it is named "Sleep Perchance I Dream," which is, of course, a Hamlet reference. And uh, so, yeah, that's uh, some big stuff right there. First of all. Wants his money by Friday. Well, hey, guess what happens on Friday, guy? End of the frickin' world on Friday. End of, end of town, anyway. Big storm hitting on Friday, so you're not getting your money that day. Um. Beyond that, uh, yeah, that's just really, really big thing in this episode. Like, huge. Uh, like, that's a huge deal right there. That Frank, this drug dealer, dangerous drug dealer, has Rachel's bracelet. How did he get it? So that's something that'll need to be investigated. But investigating a dangerous drug dealer, even with my rewind power, that doesn't sound fun. Um, but, uh, anyway. Yeah, so. Also, almost killed Chloe again. Chloe almost got, uh, got herself killed again. Good times, good times. So, that'll do for this episode. Uh, next episode? Well, you'll see. <laughs>